everybody my name is Cara on fire and welcome to a video on unshrouded where we're going to be looking into getting an armor set today this armor set being the guard of the north which is also tied in with an achievement that you can get if you get the whole set so today i'm doing a video of a walkthrough through the entirety of pike mead to be able to get yourself a set of this for those interested in what the actual set does, it increases a few things, but it does mean you can spend less time in the shroud when wearing this set. So the helmet gives critical strike chance, the chest plate gives a lot of bonus health, the gloves are really great, but they do take away a minute in the shroud for you, but they'll give you 4 plus uh, magic damage ranged and melee damage. The bottoms give plus 8 stamina, which is honestly not that amazing at all. And the boots are alright, 1 plus health regen and 2 plus stamina regeneration. So yeah, with this set on I can have about 6 minutes 30 in the shroud with a fully upgraded altar. And then to give you a comparison of what that's like with my normal armor on, with my normal set on I get a full 10 minutes in the shroud, so there you go. Either way, when you're ready to go and quest and do this kind of thing, you'll get usually a quest called Reach the Capital, Pike Meads Reach, and it will put a big marker on your map, but I'll show you the exact route how to get there in just a second. The closest spire you can go to is the Revelwood Fast Travel, and I highly recommend a good glider to get there, otherwise you'll be running quite a bit of the way. But either way, I'm going to speed run this bit just to show you the location and kind of what it looks like, so let's get some music and let's get going. When you arrive at Pikemead, it is a massive fortress and castle with several different layers, many secrets, lots of chests, and absolutely worth exploring. But we are first going to be going for the boots, which is in the tower to the bottom right of this area. And you can hop, skip, and jump across the walls. You could do this from the outside as well. I'm just showing you a way in from this side. If anywhere is too high for you, remember you have a pickaxe. Use it. It will be very good for helping you get rid of some of the uh, terrain to be able to get up but yep we're going up that tower i just fell out by accident but we can get back in from the outside so just showing you that as well so we're going to climb up the wall and we're going to go inside the castle it is guarded by a couple of enemies like an archer and a angry melee guy which will definitely hurt if he gets you in the back for some back damage but as soon as you got rid of those two you can climb up the stairs and the aim is you're going to be going to the top of the castle because at the top of the castle is what you need it is the boots you will have to go up several layers and you're going to need a grappling hook for quite a few places of this actual you know terrain this place this location but just make sure you have those things as you generally should uh, by the time you're getting to this quest the next place we're going to is the southernmost shroud route which you can pretty much glide over the top of buildings to get to the area you need to be at and it's in like a little marketplace called Hucker Square or Huxter Square. There is a boss here you'll need to get rid of and a couple of minions also in the area. So beware of that. There is totally a risk here that you'll want to be very careful of. So use your sword or whatever or get some friends to help you get rid of the boss. And then if we get rid of this flower, let's clean it up so we can see a bit in the area. We can find our next chest that we do need to be able to uh, find our next part. So behind the flower and by one of the big metal gates, you're going to see a golden chest. And in this golden chest is the arms that you're going to need of this set, which is actually probably one of the most decent parts of the set, if I'm honest with you guys. And then from there, we're going to be going all the way up to the left hand side to the north of Pike's Port. It's actually one of the harder areas to navigate around. That's why I'm going to be running to it and hopefully that will be helpful. Basically the place we want to go to is like the underground sewers area in that area. It's just very hard to find. Mainly because of the visibility of the area and the amount of cloudy shroud that's all around the place. So we're going to be heading up to make our way down to this area on the far left side of the map. There's this archway you get to go through. And then on that side there are some bugs that will attack you and other numerous things like a ghost lady. You will probably need to get rid of these enemies first because they'll be rather annoying. So make sure you do that or I mean you could try running. But the idea is you'll be going up the stairs and you'll be wanting to uh, 
grapple across if you can because there's a quicker way to get across and into the area that we need to be if you come from this zone and you could avoid the nasty red deadly shroud which is really bad for you as if you land in this it will pretty much instantly get you in a few seconds time either way you want to go down to this area and you want to take a right but not like an immediate right in front of you you're going to see some jars and stuff but ideally you want to see the scene of uh, what we're looking at right now like a marketplace some blue goo you'll be able to go on the side there's an archer there lots of bloom um asylum Ooh, i'm gonna say that wrong <laughs> but basically you're doing like a big spiral you're going down the stairs and ideally you're going to be wanting to take a right now now that we're in this massive piece of blue mushroom that's going all over the bridge but behind this like little nest of critters there is a underground sewer entrance and that is where we ideally need to go there is a lot of enemies down here so be careful of that but ideally when you're in the sewer room with the little red uh, deadly shroud in the middle of it you want to be going to the left hand side you don't have to take the full route i did uh, because i was trying to get rid of the little mites after me but ideally you'll want to go there there's a little map reference for you as well and in that golden chest you'll be able to find another piece of our part that we need for this mission so that will be lovely so yeah you could jump across a river or you could jump uh, you could just walk along up to you if you want to defeat the bugs or not or whatever you want to do and from that spot we're going to go straight to our next one because why not but we're going to need to climb back up onto the bridge area which you actually can do from the bottom of this area which is pretty cool you might need to do some digging you might need some double jump it's up to you which uh, kind of route you want to take but for this route it's easy enough to just kind of hop skip and a jump up uh, you should be able to make it with a single jump and uh, then you'll want to follow the wall along and uh, hopefully not aggro the big angry man on the bridge and then we're going to go far past like a little uh, fast travelly point uh, you know the points that you respawn at and take a big old straight road past the imperial gardens we're going straight through it not even looking back direct east from this location from the bridge and you're going to go into another shrouded settlement which we're going to be wanting to go down into one of the houses because in one of the houses is the chest plate that we need for the rest of this set so this one can get a bit confusing in this area because of the houses and you're like which house should i go into a lot of them to be honest lead to the same place there's a big uh, network underground but the ideal house you want to be going into is the one with the just basement behind the door and then you kind of just want to kind of search around follow it all the way down there should be a gap and it should lead straight into the chest area that you want to be to grab your chest and then you want to exit that area there where we were before and come out of the staircase come back where you came from come back to the imperial garden where we were just at if the boss followed you you might need to get rid of it or you could probably just run past it depends what you want to do with that one i'll leave that up to you guys but now we're going to be going up to the main castle now a lot of things i hear people say is you have to kill the boss and all that to get this next piece but you really don't need to do that all you need to do is uh, have a bit of you know cleverness to get past the wall and get uh, to the piece we need <laughs> so we're going to be going to the middle tower in the back but there is a way you can get there without having to defeat the boss at all so what we're going to want to do is we're going to use our pickaxe and we're going to dig into the door of this uh, tower area and it should lead through to the next zone that we need to be without uh, you know spawning the boss or having to worry about the boss at all although that being said the boss is definitely worth killing and you'll need to do it at some point but if you just want the armor for now and you want to do it like early on you want to cheese it or something uh, then that's totally doable even if you just came to this place for the helmet you could absolutely do that but yeah i'll come to this cross section and the tower with the smoky shroud on it we're going to be going up there going around to the back uh, hopping over the gap and there's a silver chest with the helmet inside and that is there on the map near the main event of the castle but either way i hope this video is helpful today and you learnt a thing or two if you have any more questions let me know in the comments down below hopefully this will help you out anyway thank you for watching i love you and i'll see you in the next one Bye bye <laughs>